Hello everybody and good evening. Am I coming through okay? Alright. Sorry about the very late start. Half of that was waiting for my internet to restabilize. The other half was waiting to see if I would throw up on stream. My stomach has been acting up today. It's settled now. I have to take some Pepto, but it's, it's still a little queasy. We're going to push through it. All right, let's make sure everything's properly synced. A, B, C, one, two, three. Synced. All right, let's get to it. But it probably won't be nearly as late like tonight because I did may or may not have tried to sleep off the uh, the queasiness. So, but I, I think it's fine. I can still kind of feel it turning just a little bit. If I suddenly go quiet, then I may or may not be throwing up. <laughs> But I really wanted to at least get a session in, however short it might be, just to get some progress in. Because it actually dawned on me that next week is the release, or next Friday rather, is the release of Metroid, oh not Metroid, um, Resident Evil 4 Remake. So I'm making the decision that even though I do have the copy of Dead Space Remake in my hand right now, I'm going to fulfill my promise that I made before by having Resident Evil 4 Remake be the first PS5 horror game that I will stream. So, next week when it releases, hopefully I'll have a copy by then. In the meantime, we're going to try and finish this game by next Wednesday. No thank you, Karen. I have shit to do. Not what, I, not what I wanted, but we'll save anyways. Alright, but where we last left off, we explored Magmore and Fendrana, and we got ourselves a lot of uh, different... Uh, I can try to reacquaint myself with these. Alright, so yeah, we got the away beam. We got thermal visor. And we got the spider ball. So we're gonna actually venture back and make our way back to the. Back to the Chozo ruins, among other things. Ow. Come on, really? Functional, but is not receiving power. Three nearby conduits must be energized. Oh, this is so much harder to see because there's like a little. Uh, interesting, kind of like after image kind of thing. It, it, it didn't like blur, kind of like motion blur back in OG. But I guess this is fitting for a thermal visor. Okay, so that's the way we came.
access to East Channel Door granted. I wasn't sure if that was an E-Tank or a missile upgrade, but I'll take the extra 100 points of not dying. What's the lava feel like? It feels very hot. Okay. This lead I think this leads back to I think this leads back to the mines. We can't get past there because there's this. Bendizium we can't get past there because we need power bombs. <laughs> Can't stop that any time. <laughs> Like you would for anything that torments me. Oh, hey, little there. Puddle Spore. Nice little call back to the old spore spawn from Super Metroid. Sentient floating ma uh, mollusk capable of protected by an impenetrable shell. Puddle Spore opens when approached, attempting to intimidate with its size. When open, direct fire to its mantle causes it to flip into a defensive position. It can slam shut. If it can slam shut, it ejects a spread of harmful energy globules. This is just regular, yeah, these are regular burrows. I'm not gonna fire those. We can't go here or do anything much with here because we do not have the grapple beam. Uh, it doesn't look like it has the consistency of jello. I do love that the prime get. Yeah. Actually, when we reach, uh, when we get a certain upgrade, uh, there's an amount of detail that I have. There's an amount of detail with this that I really like. Can I not get this from the side? Oh, there we go. But, I mean, technically you could still switch your beams around. Um, you were able to do that with, um, you could toggle your beams on and off in Super Metroid. And, um, what else? I think AM2R, and that was about it. Uh, since that, like, Metroid Fusion, Metroid Dread, uh, things were more like, um, would stack. I think it was like that for, um, uh, Samus Returns as well. But, uh, definitely Super Metroid and AM2R, you can be able to toggle your beams on and off.
Oh, come on. Eh. There we go. I hate that slow sink that's there. <laughs> Past that once we get another item. What is this? Twin Fires Tunnel? Ow. I guess not. This. Well, I don't hear it, so. If there was, I would be, would be able to hear it. Fortunately, I don't. I think it's just a near passageway. Alright, here we go. Still trying to uh, traverse this spider track is iffy because of your stick position. spider track that I need to go through. I could go back to the lava lake and actually get the uh It's not on, um, I don't have the lore for that yet, so we'll go back to Talon Overworld. Nope, I think everything is done at the Lava Lake, no reason to go back. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I making you nervous? We'll just have a whole session where we hang out in the Magmore Caverns. Yeah, he's right. It's like the main thoroughfare. Or, th yeah, thorough line. It's like, uh, I can't say it's the shortcut, but like that's the only way you can be able to get to um, Fendrana. It's one of the quicker ways to get back, uh, get to, um, to the phase on mines without having to go through the, uh, Wreck ship. So get used to it. Okay, we can't get past there because we don't have the grapple beam. Just gonna blast you. to the uh... we still can't go past that way because we don't have a grapple beam or the uh, gravity suit I think our, if I remember correctly, our next big set of upgrades is the gravity suit, the grapple beam, and the uh, the ice beam. I don't know. 
anything? I think I did. Yeah. We already got half the E-Tanks in this game, so... I'd say we're close about the halfway point. Alright, so we got that one. Artifact of Truth. Artifact of Strength has, strength has been returned. You have restored power to this chosen tool. Is there one that has opened? Is there a new one? Nope. Nope, no new ones? Alright. We'll just have to double back to the, uh, the Chozo Ruins. So ruins we go. Yeah, because I think the big one uh, changed that we can actually go further into the Chozo ruins. And if I remember correctly, that leads me straight back to the. That straight leads me to the um, the Hall of Elders, but there's one. Actually, actually, get several things. Yeah, I can I can actually get some other things in there. Oh, hey, Shadow. Now that I have the Spider Ball. And enough missiles. That can't get that one, but I think I can get this one. bombs yet no that I don't get those until I get to the uh, the phase on mines okay, so we go here so here decomposition but if I super let's see if I, you can see my shots are bouncing off of this if I hit this with a super missile Turn to the Chosen Ruins is going to be problematic because a certain enemy will make their presence known. Get the 
this already. I already got this. Two things we can get here, one we can't because it's down there in the water. We don't have the gravity suit, but we can go up. Large stress fractures can be seen on the surface of this brimstone pillar. If I remember correctly, it just takes three. Oh, she actually reacts to it instead of just standing there. We got ourselves a new scan. Should the plated, it? yeah, plated puffer. Mutated puffer with reinforced epidermis. Based on exposures created a mutant strain of puffers in Talon 4. They've developed plated skin, making them harder to burst. Concussive weapons can still do the job. However, the gas within the pu uh, plated puffer is just as deadly as within their cousins. I'm not going to bother with them. As long as I'm not in the same level as they are, they're not going to mess with me. Crap. Yeah, those Oculus are going to prove a problem. Crap. 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 Stop it. Climate analysis complete. Abnormally low temperatures at the ruin site. That is to the ice beam. In order to get that, I have to go to the Hall of Elders. That's okay, we got ourselves a new upgrade. See how this looks. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> oh, that eats up so many missiles, but it's so effective against the sentries. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna leave you alone. Take all your missiles, though. Is it just me or their time? No, that's a thing. That's uh, this. That's been a thing since the original GameCube release. Uh, you can be able to uh, be able to see it more, but I like how subdued the lighting is um, for this one. You can see it better with the missiles. Scared the shit out of me. I thought it was amazing. Like you see her look around and blinking. You'll get a better look of it when we get to the underground uh, frigate. No, that was like whole, all part of the immersion for uh, Metroid Prime. That's technically this supposed to be the legit way to get up there. And technically it would be kind of a sequence break to go the other way, but I like the cinematic buildup that you get for going this way. I should save. Yeah, that was like one of the big things for immersion when the original GameCube game came out. Excuse me. And they expanded on that in uh, Metroid Prime 3 when um, when you would progress further in uh, in phase on corruption you'd actually see the effects of it on Samus's face No, not in this one, but uh, um, in Prime 3, when you turned on the scan visor, you get, it's very like low light, but you could, you could actually see her face uh, just in the scan visor. Here, you gotta use some like uh, light reflections, either from charge shots, missiles, or whatever. For environmental. One, 
two, three, four. I think you can still go the old way up back to the, the sun tower, but technically this is the way you're supposed to. Um, this is the way you're supposed to return to that. Because technically this is where you're supposed to get your first sighting of those. Sun chamber atop, high atop our ruined home became the nest of a corrupted beast and a source of corruption. Many Chozo spirits have been drawn to this tainted place, release their bond to the world to claim the artifact of wild. Look at that detail on you. Chozo Ghost. Spectral entity. Bioelectric field invulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of phase on the Metallon 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to the chosen religious sites where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. Yet yeah, these guys are pains in the ass. You can still kill them, but they're just going to keep disappearing until you get the x-ray visor. I remember when I first played that, it scared the hell out of me. Here, this is where we need to go anyways, so. But the problem is, now that we've seen these Chozo ghosts, they are almost everywhere in the ruins. I don't think it locks you into the room when they appear, so... Oh, we're trying to 
let's go. Uh, to the left. I'm just gonna roll with it. They don't show up, they don't show up. More of both. Uh. Oh, actually, I could. I got the spider ball, so yeah, let's get that real quick. we ever need from this room. There's something down there but we can't get to it without the uh, gravity suit. cannon fodder. Space jump, I can go up here.
There's nothing else here. There's no other uh, equipment that I need to pick up, so we'll just keep going. I guess I gotta clear them out of the Hall of Elders before they start showing up here. But, uh, actually, no, we can't because I don't have the power bomb for this either. Crap. Yeah, Vendesium. We can scan these though. Freaking plated puffers, uh, plated, uh, parasites. Already a member of the parasite family, invulnerable to most energy, most weapon rates, sorry. Cousin to the parasite, these creatures are known for their amazing resilience. Field studies suggest a weakness to morph ball delivered weapons. Yeah, bombs. That's an ice beam door. Oh, we can't get up there. What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, seeking out life and its blind need for corruption? And where did the meteor that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands, or was it a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end? Our minds quail in horror at the thought of that long ago in some corner of the universe as yet unseen by our eyes. An entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place might have been mighty indeed. As a, and if other meteors from, from it spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold fast to hope that this is not so, that the only surviving remnants of this evil are here on Talon IV then at least there is hope for its er eradication. Yeah, that's not the case. Because whatever hit Talon for is just one of many. Okay, let's do several things here. Ice beam that goes back to the other room. We need to get up there. Yeah. Massive lore dump here. To the entrusted one, if you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. Your path is fraught with danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quell, quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd, but they are blinded by their evil designs, believing in the black promise of the great poison. They seek to harness it for their own ends. And in these la... Uh, I didn't read that. Uh, greatest danger when you rid these creatures of these rid the universe of these creatures you will be the true and trusted one none known of our uh, if our temple the cradle will provide powerful and will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever for now it wraps around that abomination cutting it off from the world above however we believe the power of the cipher which has been produced by linking the 12 artifacts, should be strong enough. The fate of this world is now left to the one who will collect all the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is coming. Many chose are gifted with a distant sight, and even more begin to learn, as it, learn it as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forward, seeing prophecy and ripples of water, hearing rumors of coming days and the breath of the wind. Though we celebrate the distant sight, many of these visions are dark. The worst of the prophecies and the most common tells of the coming of the worm, born from parasites, nurtured in a poisoned room. The worm grows, devouring from within until the world begins to rot. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark portent more foreshadowing. Here we go. Cordite.
You give me a timer like it matters. being there. Only the holder of the twelve shall face the worm. The great poison corrupts all, even the Chozo. Oh, at least that thing came back and killed it. Or hit it, I mean. For a second I thought that super missile was just gonna bounce off and hit the wall. Structure of a bridge indicates can be rotated. Chozo ruins translated. The hollow banner text reads Hall of the Elders. Things bound to earthly shapes are temporal and frail. Existing in a single dimension, they are fragile, vulnerable, and ultimately mortal. However, not all things obey this law. Shapeless. They wait beyond the realm of perception, emerging only when one arrives who can feel their presence. Such is the will of the Chozo. Our will to defeat evil seeping into this planet remains. We desire only to see the darkness meet its end. The will of the Chozo has no mind or reason of its own, though. This will be the entrusted one's trial. Radiation collectors designed to absorb and store solar energy appears largely decorative. Identified as a statue of Chozo Elder. According to Chozo lore, these statues served as the watchful guardians of tombs and shrines. Its outstretched hands are empty, as if awaiting an offering. This is a missile. Yep. Haven't seen one of these yet. Missile station. Basically, just recharge your ammo. Safety shield online with the secure. Field covering this slide is compromised of an erratic energy wavelength. Energy signal appears to be affected by cold. Appears to be affected by heat.
Safety shield online. Use caution near the window. So that's our quick way up, ba uh, back up and down. Here we've got a lot of stone toads in here. Drainage shut off is holding. Maintaining the water level of reflecting pool at 95%. the fish all right time to pop all of you beam. Oh, the base on this. Hang on. Will it do it? Oh, yes, it does. They brought it back. Nice. Oh, look at the ice charging. Because in the um, in the Wii version, they took off the uh, kind of um, the frost that would build up on the arm cannon as you fired it. Because it was a texture thing, and it was hard to uh, render while the arm cannon was moving around. So, but you would still hear the sound effect of the ice building up around the arm cannon. This is where I would actually get lost. You got one that goes to Talon Overworld East, and then you've got another that goes to Talon Overworld South. But before we take one of these elevators, I'm going to double back to the Hall of Elders. Show up? No? Oh, no, they, they still show up. There's three of them now.
Oh, another E tank, okay. And third one should lead to a artifact, but we don't have the plasma beam. from here and then the other one should lead to I think it was called like the dynamo or something like that whoa what the heck random but okay don't know why that's there that's a little bit uh, unnecessary I didn't even know that thing existed to this. Well, we still have, don't have the power bombs. I think it's supposed to go through the ice beam one, but right, let's see what this takes us. Go for another half hour. Ah, okay, so this leads back to the wreck. So I'm not going to go down there, but I am going to scan it if I can. There we go. Nope. All right, we'll just have to wait until we get the... Uh, gravity suit so not that way I remember when uh, the old GameCube game, this uh, like going back and forth on this part of Talon proved problematic because it's like so, so back and forth, especially going from this one to the other one if you got lost. Uh, I actually ended up freezing my game a couple times because of that. It was just like repeatedly having to take these, uh, these elevators. All right, Shadow, thank you for coming by. You have a good night. And actually, that tunnel back there that had... Oh, shit. The tunnel that had the uh, the venom weed 
is the one place that I actually managed to glitch the game. And by glitching the game, I mean I actually fell out of the world. I don't know if that little, like, gap is still there, but I'm not going to test it. I don't know if it was me just trying to, like, boost ball through that, or if I just, like, happened upon it. Lock control, control on the other side. Okay, so we can't get there until we get the uh, what do you call it? Gravity suit. But we can still get this. I think. Vendesium, so. Is really the ice beam the only thing we can really get from here? Alright, so. If, uh, it would have to be Vendrana. We'd have to double back to Vendrana. Yeah, because Vendrana still has Gravity Suit. And then that would be our path to get to the... Uh, okay, so yeah, let's go get the Gravity Suit. So that would be this way. Bye. Nope. Actually, hang on. Could you? Oh, yeah, you could. Oh, they break out of it, though. Can't go there because it's, uh, what you would call it, grapple beam. So it would have to be this way. Uh, technically, I could go through that way. Yeah. I have to deal with the Chozo ghosts, though.
Ah, oh, damn it, he shot me. What the frick? Oh, there's a third one. Missiles don't permanently kill them, but the long charge keeps them frozen for longer. snicker at me or oh, shit but since we have the ice beam we can do this I don't know that that's permanent they usually long enough for it to not matter
I'm not gonna touch that until I get the uh, Chozo lore for that. gravity patterns yeah let's get the gravity suit and then we'll call it a night can't reach it because I do not have the x-ray visor I had to look that one up it's like I know how I uh, there's a way to reach it I just didn't remember how but yeah I need the x-ray visor hearing things. Would it be faster to go through the other side? Okay, so that's the way I went through, and then there's... Talent Overworld. Actually, yeah, it would be faster to go that way, so let's... freeze.
Oops. I'm not doing it on pur purpose, I swear. Friends. I love this part of Andrana. I can't get past here. It's gonna need a plasma beam. Oh, the ice parasites are still here. Nope, don't need to go there. Ow. I think that's where we need to go.
Oh, I hear you. You are very red. Ah! Let me scan you. Hunter Metroid, Adolescent Metroid, Energy Siphon Tentacles, increase its threat level. As Metroids develop, they become more efficient predators. Energy draining tentacles allow them to attack at a distance. Quick to anger, Hunter Metroid will charge troublesome prey and attempt to ram them into submission. Cold based attacks are still quite effective against these creatures. How about no? And gliders. Docile, airborne creatures with unusual magnetic properties. Gliders live in a relatively peaceful existence. They have a magnetic signature attuned to the common grapple beam technology. The sport of glider riding involves using a grapple beam to attach to a glider and then staying on it as long as possible. Like a rodeo. Okay, so... Uh... Put those there. There's one up there, but I can't reach because I don't have the grapple beam. Where does this go? Oh! All Metroids destined for Phazon ranges in the mines must pass inspection. Temperature affiliated behavioral index for Metroids is available at all research terminals. Access code Lima Indigo Foxtrot 22. Any more? Or is it just those two? What did I say, Indigo? I'm in India. Indigo, what's wrong with me? This is Fendrana's edge. Yep. Yeah, we, keep, we need the grapple beam to go up, so. Oh, I hate those freaking things! Gel zaps, that's right. Aquatic predator made of electricity having bound skeletal halves. Gelzap's brain is located in the upper half of its body while the heart and digestive tract are occupied in the lower half. Linked by electrical impulses, the two halves somehow function effectively enough to launch a gel zap at the top of the Talon 4's aquatic food chain. It's like a giant, uh, like weird static cra uh, uh, cra uh, crap. clam.
I supposed to go? Okay. Full aquatic uh, tentacle, part of a submerged organism similar to nature, to the surface-based reaper vine. The aquatic reaper has adapted to liquid environment. Shares poor vision of its rock-dwelling cousin, relying on crude sonar to seek out prey. Unhindered by water, the aqua reaper has considerable speed and strength. Seventy-five percent of the logbook. Nice. But since we have, I think if we have the, uh, yep, that works. Oh, it only freezes them. So that's that's no good. But we can take out the gel zap. I think. Oh, there we go. God, visibility sucks without the uh, the gravity suit. That does not help. Well, we made it. Get up there. Ooh, how, look how much clearer we can actually see. We need plasma beam to get up there. So I'll get that on my artifact hunt. Zappy zap zap! Oh, 
It's not like I'm hindered by this anyways. Oh, no, no, no! That's not the way to Magmore. This is the way back to Magmore. save here we'll call it a night we'll come back to this on friday uh hopefully i can be able to start earlier um let's see now that we've got the gravity suit uh, we can actually make our way through the crashed frigate into our next big area which is the phase on mines which is pretty much like the last third of the game so we're making good time. Even though I did get a little bit lost, I actually reached my goal of what I wanted to do for this session anyways, which was get the gravity suit. So... Yeah, all that's left is... going through the phase on mines. Getting whatever uh, upgrades we need. There's just the uh, grapple beam, the power bombs, and the plasma beam. And then we can kill the uh, uh, the Omega pirate. And then after that, it's just an artifact hunt. So that'll be the plan. We, can, we should at least get to the uh, uh, end of the phase on mines by Friday. And then we can do artifact hunt and final upgrade hunt and finish the game on Wednesday. Hopefully by that time, uh, would have gone through this quick enough so that next Friday we can start Resident Evil 4 Remake. Yes, I know I said we're going to be doing um, Dead Space Remake, but I completely forgot that Resident Evil 4 was coming out next Friday. I th I'm still th I kept thinking it was like going to be in April. No, next Friday. So I'm going to keep true to my promise of having Resident Evil 4 be my first PS5 uh, horror game that I, uh, that I do. Sadly, uh, for my sake, whenever I finish um, Love, Money, and Rock and Roll, we're just going to go right into Dead Space Remake as well. So huge horror overload for me. Yay. So, hope you guys are happy. I certainly am not. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for joining me. Uh, the link's down below. The first one will take you to the Lazy League Discord. There you can be able to find...
there you can be able to find the rest of the lazy li uh, league streamers such as oh hey mike k Batgwen, gummed off the gray along with many others in our circle such as rainarchy who actually just started streaming again uh last night she started the uh destiny 2 lifefall campaign uh shadow knight whenever he streams does call of duty uh 98 tough love who started streaming again now that you got good internet warwick zero it's always a blast with him c plus content and all their tabletop rpg gaming and many others in our circle of friends come hang out with us come be lazy with us a lot of good stuff a lot of fun stuff that goes around um, the second link will take you to the sister site for this channel, which I have updated, although I need to update the archive, but there you can be able to find more info and other upcoming streams that I have planned, as well as the archives, uh, past streams that I've done, like all the previous Metroid games that I've gone through, uh, and if you've got any questions, comments, concerns that you would like me to know about, or any suggestions that you might have for me for future Let's Plays, or Retro Nights, head on over to the contact page and shoot them out to me over there. Also, scroll down below or off to the side, depending on the platform or watch Chrome to catch many other streamers. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. To catch many other streamers that I personally like to watch and follow, check them all out whenever you can. They're all great. And again, thank you for joining me tonight. It did run a little bit longer than I, uh, later, rather, than I expected. Well, it's because it started late. That's mostly my fault. But here's hoping we will start just a tad earlier on Friday. But until then, take care, love and hype, life is good. Good night, everybody.